Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm going to show you guys the apps that I use in med school or what's in my iPad. So before I begin, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And let's begin! So this is my iPad. I have the iPad Pro 2018 in 11 inches, space gray, and 256 gigabytes. And I also have the Apple Pencil. My iPad actually has uh, three pages. Um, the first page are the apps that is included in the iPad when I bought it. And the most important here is voice memos because I use this for um, recording some of the lectures if I didn't take down notes on that day. And the last page, the third page, is actually the page that I try to avoid the most because it has games. I usually play this when I'm bored. <laughs> and I have um, the apps that I use for editing videos and editing pictures. So the middle page is actually the most important page for me. And it has these apps. But I am only going to show you guys the apps that I use the most. Okay, so the first app is Medscape. So Medscape is actually an app that we use a lot for biochemistry. We are looking into a certain disease and we want to know more about the disease. We use this app. In this app, it has the signs and symptoms, the workup, the diagnosis, the treatment, the pathophysiology, and it's actually really um, useful. So the next app that I use is um, human anatomy atlas so this is actually for anatomy okay so for example uh, this muscle traps if you press on this like book it will show you information about that muscle it will show you also the oina which is super 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 important for um, anatomy the professors ask that in quizzes so that's really important and then if you press this like stethoscope thing here it has the diseases that is associated with that muscle um you can hide the muscle so that you can see the structures underneath it okay so actually i'm going to show you something guys M med story right here the sternalis muscle it, it's actually an uncommon muscle and in one of our cadavers meron actually to it was present so it was kind of cool you know so, yun. Share ko lang. <laughs> okay. So, the next app that I use, we actually use this as a batch. It's called the Team Up. So, this is actually the app that um, we use for scheduling. For example, if you have any makeup classes or we have any canceled classes, if you have any quizzes, the schedule for exams, practicals, um, it's everything is in here. So, this app is actually really, really nice. Okay, so the next app is Share It. So this is super important for, especially for sharing files from Android to iOS or iOS to Android. Okay, I'm just going to mention the Google apps that we use. So the one I use the most is Google Drive. Uh, this is where I store my books, my chances, pictures. I also have Google Calendar. I used to use this, pero meron nga yung Team Up. So I usually use the Team Up. Google Classroom, some of our professors actually upload materials. We also use Google Docs and Google Slides. So if we have any um, group presentations or any group papers to be submitted, we usually do it here so that the compilation is easy. Google Slides for making PowerPoints as a group. Okay, Gmail, uh, Gmail. I have Notability here, but I don't use it. I used to use Notability during the first week of class, but I find that it drains my iPad so fast. It's more expensive than GoodNotes. I think Notability is $4.99 and GoodNotes is only $3.99. Down here, I just have files and I have Acrobat. I use Acrobat if mabilisa na read. I can't open it because it has some files that you cannot see. And then I have Safari. Good notes and then Google Drive. I have Zoom here because my sister uses it. Shampoo Netflix, Spotify, YouTube, HP Smart uh, to print down notes. Let's go to Good Notes. 
Okay, so this is what my good notes when you open it. This is what it looks like. This is the opening. Opening channel in Eglabu. So I would usually have three folders in here. First year, first sem, first year, second sem, and books. But since my sister is using it, I got her her I made her folder. And then for the books, I just have all of my books in here. I don't really use iBooks because I find that it's so slow, especially for books with 1,000 pages. <laughs> so, I don't really use iBooks. I use this one, GoodNotes. And then, let's see, first year, first sem, and then I have the uh, folders per subject. So, let's go to Biochem. Let's go to Midterms. Okay, so this is one of the notes that I actually wrote down during a lecture. Karen, it's so... Magulo? I don't know. This is how I write down my notes. So I have here the three columns. One, two, three. Okay, and in one in one um, space like this, I would usually have like two lines. Just ha like how I write in my actual notebook. And then um, I would, for the like main header, I just write it in red pen. And then for like the subheaders, I write it in blue, and then for like the body, I just write it in black. And then I try to highlight the um, important ones. Oh, yeah. um, okay, that's how I write my notes usually. Let's look at other notes. Let's look at the second thing. Okay, so for biochem also, I think, I think I wrote down notes here for it all. For diabetes, because I didn't have the PowerPoint, nakalmutan is send it off. So, this is how I wrote down the notes. Mm, and this is the mandated paper. And I like it. I like the notes. Ayan, medyo pagod na ako dyan. <laughs> so, pangit na. Okay, so, ayan. DM. Okay, for the notes now, um, so since it's ECQ, the doctors actually sent their PowerPoints. And then what I do is, in one side of the, kasi pa dito split screen, so in one side, I have the book, and then on the other side, I just have the PowerPoint. And in this particular PowerPoint, there are actually research questions for self-assessment. And it's actually nice because you really need to read the book so that you can answer that question. So, ayan. Um, this is how I write down my notes. I would usually use two colors of highlighters only. And then I would usually write down my notes in red, red pen. So that I can see it easily. Okay, so... A quick recap, so the top 5 apps that I use are Medscape, Human Anatomy Atlas, Team Up, um, Good Notes, and Google Drive. Okay! <laughs> Thank you guys for watching! I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!